Hey guys, it's Lisa here. In today's video, I'm going to be demonstrating for all of you how to create story read-alouds for your students to use during virtual learning. The great thing about these books is that they're not only great for your general ed population, but if you have students that, that uh, require accommodations and have things read for them, this is a great thing so that students can not only read the story as they're going along, but they can also auditorily listen to your voice reading it to them as well. Uh, this is also great for uh, English language learners. So if you have students for whom English is not their first language in your classes, it's it's great for them to be able to read the stories, but to have a voice actually reading it to them, it actually helps them to acquire their second language and to hear the way that words are pronounced. So this is great for them as well. Um, the first thing you're going to want to do, obviously besides choosing a book, is you're going to want to go ahead and take photos of the story. So if it's a picture book, you're gonna to wanna to go ahead and you can just use your, your regular camera. You can see here in the example that I used for Goodnight Moon and literally just use my phone to take pictures of each one of the pages. Um, if you have like a chapter book and you are a little worried about just taking photos and maybe the print is too small, or you're afraid that by stretching the pages that it's gonna to lose too much of the image quality, it's gonna be difficult to read. There are some really great free applications you can download on your phone like Simple Scanner and Tiny Scanner and those will literally take uh, a scan of the, each one of the pages and turn it into a PDF and then you can like a PDF photo and then you can just upload those to your slides if you choose to do that. So basically what I did was I opened a new slide presentation. Um, you see that I, I chose the book Goodnight Moon so I know that there's a lot of green in the background so the next thing that I did was I just chose the background color and I want something that kind of went along with the, the color scheme of the story. So I just chose this green here. Okay, and that's gonna be the, the background for all of my slides. And then once I took pictures from all the pages in the book, I went ahead and I went into my gallery on my phone and I shared them all to my Google Drive. So once I shared them to my Google Drive, you'll see here if I go to insert, and I go to image, and then I go to my drive, you'll see here on the side, all of the images from the book are going to pop up. Can you see them here? Okay, so let me see if I can find, right here is the front cover. So I'm gonna choose this one, okay? And now I just took the pictures on my couch because it was a solid color. You can take them really anywhere as long as, as, long as it's a color that's you know not gonna be too distracting like a floral pattern would obviously be very distracting if you end up having a little tiny bit left around the, the rounded edges of maybe like one of these hard books. Okay, so once you have that cropped out, okay, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm just gonna stretch this. And then it's just my preference, but what I did for my stories, what I did for my stories was I went to my border here and I just put like a number four, I made it black around the outside too. And then I just made sure that they were centered, each one of these, okay? So there we go. So now that I'm happy with that, I went through and I did this for each one of the pages. Once I finished getting all of my photos in, I then, you know, wanted to make sure that I had the, the, the volume, the voice, okay? So I wanted to put my audio clips in. In order to do that, I went to a free site, which I absolutely love. I have another uh, video tutorial uh, using the website's called Vocaroo. It's V-O-C-A-R-O-O. -O -O. Okay, it's right here, okay, if you're wondering how to spell that. Okay, once you get here, you're gonna see it's very easy, very user-friendly. Literally just push the button and then you start recording. Good Night Moon by Margaret Wise Brown. Pictures by Clement Hurd. And then that's literally it, okay? If you wanna go ahead and listen to it again, you can click the play button, okay? Otherwise, for me, I just click save and share down here, and then I downloaded them to my computer. Okay, you can see the little downloads going down there. From there, all I did, um, and I, I, I recorded all of them first. So I recorded all of them, okay, just to make it easy while I was here, and I was in you know, the mode of, of recording each one of the pages. It also keeps them in order. Then from there, once they were recorded onto my desktop, 
I went into my drive and I literally just went to the new button up here in the, the top left hand corner. And then I went to file upload. And you can click more than one at a time. So let's just say that this was all I needed. I could literally click all of them and click on open and it's going to upload all of those files. I'll show you right now. See, it's gonna upload all of them to the computer. Now, these are already on my computer. That's why it's uh, in my drive. That's why it's warning me there. Um, but they literally all went to a folder. Okay, and then from there, I was able to go to my presentation here and slides and then go to insert audio. Okay, and then I could click on the audio file. Now, I'm not really sure which one is for the first page, but we could just say for the argument's sake that this is this is the one. Okay, and then the students will have access. So what the great thing is, is that if I put this into present mode, it'll make the page nice and big so that the students can see it. And then they can still click on the icon up here to have the story read to them. Um, now you see here, I have my slides in landscape. Really depends on the book. So if you have a tall book, you're gonna wanna make your slides more, more portrait. Okay, and you, you can go ahead and, and change the size of your slides by going into file and then going to page setup and then going to custom and then really just, you, you just pick it. So if you wanted an eight and a half by 11, like a regular size sheet of paper, you can go ahead and change that. Um, and it'll, it'll change it to more of like a portrait look. So if you like this video, go ahead. I can't wait to see some of the read alongs that you create for your students. If you have questions, comment down below. As always, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to my channel, click that red button, and also the bell icon so you get notifications for my future videos. Take care, everyone.